Dan King and I just got dropped off doing some last minute preps. There's our ride saying goodbye. We are outside of Toland, Pennsylvania. And uh, trailhead's right there. And we are going south. So, uh, wish us luck. And uh, we are ready to go. Right on. All right, this is our home for the night. What up, Dan King? Uh, might, might try and cook on Dan's stove, get a little dinner. We're all hammocked up. And we are ready to go tomorrow and uh, enjoy our last little bit of light. We have a beautiful, beautiful spot up on the mountain. Sun's going down. We're going to rest and hit the trail in the morning. Dan King and I are just chilling at camp. And, uh, and I felt something crawl on my leg. And I got a stink bug. Just stick. Yeah, sorry. Not stink. Stick. Stick bug. And uh, I haven't seen one of these in so, so long. So like my first night on the Appalachian to have a stick bug on me. That's pretty cool. Still sleeping, I'm just enjoying the morning, watching the woods go. It's gonna be a good day today. A little on the hot side, but that's alright. We're up and on the trail this morning. Not too exciting, not too much to really look at. Rocks and trees. Rocks and trees and trail. So uh, hopefully, more uphill. yeah, more uphill. Hopefully, we'll come across something cool here. Other than some mines, this is probably the most interesting spot that we've made it to. Yep. Decent boulder field. Uh, looks like a little cliff face. Stuff you could climb if you're bored. But. We're gonna continue on out the rocky trail. We just keep going up. Later on. I'm so confused too about like what you, uh, what they did. I don't know. Well, this was part of like probably that. Um, you know, like back in the 30s and 40s, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts of America was a big deal. This structure here is a swimming pool. From a Girl Scout camp, built in 1934. We are in the pool. Dan King and I came up off the trail. We've hit about our 10 mile mark for the day. And uh, we are uh, just coming up here to make our camp. We already found a fire pit. And like, there's a little lean to back here. So, like, we got super lucky with this one. Just uh, found it at random. And that's the cool thing about being on the Appalachian, is you'll find stuff like this. Dan King and I just packed up camp, morning number two, and uh, we're about to get back on the trail. We got around another 10 or so to do today. Um, slept pretty good, and we are ready to roll.
check it out the official halfway marker on the Appalachian Trail pretty cool somewhere around here there's some forestry on the trail which kind of takes away the ambience of this really nice section right here we are in a state forest so out the color of the leaves. Dan King and I walked into a whole different season. This is uh, some pretty cool habitat we just walked into. It's just like vast scrub and sand. This is camp three for our trek. We got our rain flies out uh, just because there's, I mean, clouded up pretty good. We're probably looking at storms Saturday into Sunday. Um, so we're prepared. We got our fire, excellent water source cooking up some food and this is a really nice camp spot I see you tomorrow this is where we camped last night over here see my gear is still in disarray I've kind of been going through it this morning it's a pretty nice pine grove weather's going to be an issue today it's hard to tell but the clouds are really gray Pitter a little bit last night, but not too badly. So this is our last day on the trail, and uh, we're gonna make our destination, post up camp, and then get picked up in the morning. So all we gotta do is make it through today. We've come to a quite an easy sandy trail this morning, day three, and uh, the forest looks a little different more fall like which i'm enjoying not too hot today still the threat of rain um i haven't seen too many incredible landmarks like in terms of like vistas or anything did come across the halfway point of the trail which is cool so we'll see what else is out here Kudos to this trail team. They put in a guardrail for us. It's like, yep. That's pretty sweet. We hiked back into Falgen. Only this one's more of a mature forest. So it's just whenever we get up into the elevation, I'm pretty sure. But uh, leaves are changing like a month and a half early. We uh, came down off the trail to the Dark Hollow Vista. It's pretty sweet. We're getting even deeper into fall. It's 
smells like fall, feels like fall. Leaves are all over the ground. Trees are turning. This is really cool, really pretty. We got steps. Dude, they made very decent steps down through the tunnel. And excellent drainage. Yes, they are. Look at that motherfucker. That is a big timber rattlesnake. And these guys you just want to stay away from and uh, don't hurt them or harm them or anything. These guys are endangered. So I've never seen one. That's pretty crazy. Oh, we made it. We made it to the end. We have reached Caledonia State Park and uh, decided to get us a campsite for our final night. Our pickup spots literally 500 yards away, so this was great. Really nice park, cooking some food, sleeping up there. Awesome adventure.